Hi guys, again, it's Lynn again. Uh, I just thought I'd pop on. Post has just been, my rocker box has just come. I've just took it out the, the sleeve. I actually thought maybe that was the Living Proof um, box, hair, hair special edition box from Glossy Box that came today. I was swear about getting that box or not, and I thought for £20 I'll get it because if I decide I don't want it, which I don't think I will because I'm very lazy with my hair, I'm going to put it by for Emma's birthday. So if I unbox that, I'll probably open it first and take the little label I'm not very carefully before I show it because if I put it away for a birthday present, I don't want it no torn and things like that. Anyway, I'll stop blaring. A couple of items come in the post, so I'll show you that at the end of this. So that's the rocker box. Actually, my first box was last month and I decided to unsubscribe the way I do with Birchbox so that I can um, make up my mind if I see unboxes if I want it or not. And I watched, I think it was... Uh, Joanne Joanne's unboxing and somebody else's and then I watched Lisa's subscription box I had it the other day when she put hers up and I decided, yep, I'm going to um, subscribe this month. So anyway, let's, I mean, Gavin, uh, now last month I didn't get a, a leaflet in about the item, so see if, yep, this month I've got it. Uh, I don't think it actually tells you the prices and once again I've not got a clue about the prices so we'll just go through the box, see the items and as I say I don't think I'll be reading through everything on the card because it's quite self-explanatory these items, do you know what I mean? Anyway, stop yapping, so that's the box, all the items inside it, so I'll just grab one and the first item I've got out is the Urban Decay Revive and Exfoliating Facial Wash Regenerative, replenishing and skin softening and as I say this is 20 mils. I, I, I know I wasn't going to read this out the car but I'll read it anyway. Oh sorry they do have the prices, I'm blind as a bat at times. This you see is worth $13.99 and it says reveal healthy fresher looking skin with a reviving exfoliating facial polish. A delicate yet effective exfoliator reviving facial polish is designed to be massaged and to stimulate circulation and gently buff away dead skin scales. <gasps> Sorry, away dead skin cells to reveal deeply cleansed, soft and youthful skin. No, it is because I speak far too fast and I apologise. It's just me, grab it on. Anyway, that's $13.99 for that one. And as I say, I, sorry, I paid uh, 13 dollars for the box, including postage. As I say, I'll probably unsubscribe again this month and then wait to see what's next month's got before I make up my mind. It's going to be one of these boxes I'm going to dip in and out of. I'm going to take some of these wormy things out. Uh, What's this? Just a wee Ted, Ted Baker. So you just got a wee information about Ted Baker perfumes. I know they're not tested on animals. And look at the size of this wee thing. Cetaphil Daily Defence Moisturiser. 5 grams. Now, they say this is 8.59. Surely to God, that's not 8.59 for that wee thing. That must be full size, surely. Maybe I'm wrong. I've not got a clue. You can, um, but that's very small tube to start. Uh, to test a moisturiser, that'll probably do twice if I'm lucky. It just said a lightweight, easily absorbed day cream, it hydrates skin and provides a very high broad spectrum UVB photo protection to help defend the skin against the effects of a daily exposure to sunlight and help skin maintain natural protective barrier suitable for all skin types available at Super Drug. This is a travel size, well, you don't have to worry for one night to travel with that, wouldn't you? Anyway, and the next thing is the Line Smoothing Skin Perfector Combination Skin Instant Blur Technology. I got one of these in my latest in beauty uh, last month and I think this is worth about £29.50. See so what it's yep, £29.50. And it's at Monia Skin. Now if you haven't seen my cohorty box, it was Monia Skin themed. So I've now got the cleanser, toner and a moisturiser in that. And then another one of these which I'll probably put this um, in. Yeah, I'm making up a box for my friend. She's not doing very well. Um, so I'll be putting that. Because I don't need to, so I'll be putting that away. And that's one of the reasons I bought this box when I seen the unboxings was this was in it. And I thought another one, I know who that's for. Um, there's nobody else since last September. And I thought I'd make up a wee box and setting it down. So it's nice to get a wee gift to you know, make people feel better. So this is Monia Skin Skin Perfect. It's a weightless cream with instantly smooths and perfections and enhances a natural radiance. Um, so yeah, so I've got that as one you've got the box. And I don't know if this lipstick I've got on today is actually is the dark, the brown colour out of the quarter box I got yesterday and I didn't think I'd managed to, to wear it I think it was too brownie but it's actually quite nice and um, I just put it on I haven't put a, anything on top of it to disguise it I just thought I'd give it a go and it's not the, the horrible brown colour wasn't as bad I've had some horrible brown colours before but this is actually I can wear this and this is a fix stick definition 
by Nip and Fab and this is worth ten ninety five. As a contour stick, contrary to a selfie ready florist complexion, the definition medium sculpt has a caramel tone with a matte finish, creating a, the perfect shadow for sculpting and defining facial features. It's an easy application and buildable form to achieve a sculpted and defined look. So let's have a go look at the colour. Let's go. That's okay. Yeah, I'll get away with that. No problem. I do like contour sticks, uh, so that, when I saw that in the box as well, it was those two items there that I wanted the box for, as I say, I paid £13.95, and basically £11, basically ten ninety five. so here you go, do you know what I mean, that's uh, £50 worth, so there we go, and the last item in the box is the Beauty Egg, and it is one of the little beauty blenders, uh, and this is four ninety nine. A complexion perfecting beauty sponge. We're going to start reading it what a beautiful sponge is. We we'll know what it is. Uh, I think it's a Thara's No, these are. I don't know if it's this brand or not. It's cruelty free. Uh, yep, that is cruelty free, vegan, and latex free. Yep, quite. Can't go wrong with a, wee blue, a beauty blender. So, what I got in my box was for £13.95, including postage, a four ninety nine beauty blender, £29.50 line smooth moisturiser, ten ninety five contour stick. A little sample of the Cetaphil moisturiser with factor 50, they say it's 8.59. It might be that size, I don't know the price of that, it might be that size for 8.59, but I doubt it. And the Urban Vida Reviving Exfoliating Facial Polish, they say it's worth uh, 13.99. So whether that's the travel size for that or the full size. Um, so anyway, I got the value of the box on the moisturiser and the, the contour stick that I'll, I'll use. And there's Spencer coming to say hello and don't press the phone in that button. He did that one night, but here, here I'm digressing again. I always take the phone up the stairs with me. So if anybody needs me during the night for emergency or anything like that, I'm here. And one night Spencer must have pressed the detail button in the middle of the night and he was dialing my mum. My poor mum thought there was something wrong with us. Because she couldn't hear anything on the phone and here Spencer had actually dialed the number. Uh, so after that I didn't put it under my pillow anymore because in case he does it again and he's at the back of this bed and he's going to knock this camera for six I think. I put Spencer lie down darling, lie down. As I say everywhere I go Spencer goes. Here we go, he's, he's curing himself in. I'm going to have to move this because he's crossing it. Now lie down, lie down. You're interrupting mummy, come on, lie down. You wee sleepy man. Anyway, I'm flicking with this dog and I'm supposed to be filming this, apologies. So that's the rocker box, delighted with that. Now, I finished my Emma Hardy, I've actually finished two pots of the Emma Hardy at Moringa Cleansing Balm, and I was that busy putting it in for the recycling, it was getting collected the other day, I totally forgot to put it in my empties video for June, but, I, oh sorry this dog, I have, I have um, finished it, so it looked fantastic, it had that's him settled. Look fantastic. Had a uh, twenty percent off again. I don't buy it unless it's twenty percent off because it's too expensive. And it worked out thirty seven pounds something, which is a lot of money for me to spend a cleansing balm. I really do like it. And it was out of my British Beauty box. I got two of them. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping I don't mind a repeat purchase of that if they put it back in again. But there's no guarantee it'll be in. My box is due the end of this week and the next week because I've had it twice before, but I, I wouldn't mind it getting it again. Um, so what I did was, I got this, a couple of things sold in eBay, but I put it on my, uh, that clan I buy now, pay later. So I've got time to pay it for a month to pay it and just recreate it. So that's just basically come, and I'll start using this again. As I say, I have finished one, I totally forgot to put it away from empty, so I got that today. And the only other two wee items that come, this is a dog rustling about again, this camera's shaking, I'm sorry, is I got another couple of these um, Ciate Wonder eyeliners in Indigo, I really like that shade, and I actually couldn't get this shade anywhere else, tried TK Max and everything again, couldn't get it, so there was a, the different series are actually more expensive, because obviously the ones I had before were two ninety nine, three forty nine with the colours, but to get this colour eh, I had to pay... Eleven ninety four for two, which you can't even because it's still two less than the price I want at fifteen pound. So that's that blue one again. That's what I've got on today. I do like that. And sometimes if you don't see them, there wasn't a lot left. You don't see them on eBay, and you maybe the next day you go and get them sold out. And I thought no, I'm going to get them. I really like them. Yes, they're slightly dearer, 
and what I've paid before, 299349 We're still getting two for the, less than the price of one. So that's what came in the post today. And I'm really pleased with that little rocker box. I see I did buy it for the, after watching unboxings for the, the moisturiser and the contour stick. And apologies for Spencer doing his rummaging about. He's settled now. He's absolutely sound asleep settled now. As I say, where I go, he goes. He's got terrible separation anxiety, that poor wee dog. He's a rescue dog. And I hate to think, even the vet says, we hate to think what that wee soul's been through. Uh, do you know something the vet can't get anywhere near him? Uh, he goes for his health check twice uh, a year. I pay a VIP club. I pay it every month. It covers their vaccines, their worming, and a frontline spot on for the year. And also two health checks. And the vet can't get anywhere near him. Uh, I mean, we've chased him around weight rooms and everything. I've actually vaccinated him myself. And he was still stressed, really stressed. So... I found a fantastic groomer. She's absolutely brilliant. Took a wee while to build up her confidence with him and him to trust her. Now he goes into his bath and she vaccinates him for him. She's going tomorrow for his bath and to get vaccinated. And what I do is I make sure he gets a wee bath in between so that he's no no just going there to get stabbed, do you know what I mean? So uh, the wee soul is going for a bath tomorrow to get his vaccine done. But uh, he can honestly, it took him months to trust me to touch the take these sleepy men out of his eyes and check his ears and things. So God knows what that poor dog's been through. I've had him for eight years past February and God knows what that dog's been through. And he was in the kennels for three months. I actually moved into this house the 26th of November 2010. Yeah, it would have been. And when I got his records from the SSPC, he'd actually went into the kennels that day. And the time I decided to go and get a dog in that... Uh, it was the 6th of February, I got him out, so he were in that kennels all that length of time. He was so, uh, he has, he's, he's definitely, he's definitely had you no know, problems. You take these rescue dogs on, you take your problems with them. Uh, but he's love, I love him, I just, he's just a, a, a fantastic dog. And yes, he needs a lot of support, but I, I mean, that's what you take these dogs on for, to give him a loving home that they've been through a hell of, of terrible, terrible stress in their life. But I say the vet can't get anywhere near him. And some one of the times he had a sore eye, I took a photograph so the vet could see him. See it. She could see the pus knacking out the eye, but so she could see it. And things like that, his teeth and that, I'll take photographs so she could look in his mouth because she can't. I managed to get his mouth open to the vet yesterday so she could see him. Uh, but it's, it's quite hard. And I always panic if something serious happens. You know how they're going to, how they're going to you know, deal with him so it's less stress for the dog so basically if anything happens to him like that you need to be sedated uh, the wee soul but that's the wee story about Spencer and his terrible life he had before he came to me and the rent was between one and two when I got him so we say it was about two so I think it's about ten and a half now so uh, and you don't want the dog being stressed so it's kinder for the vet just to give me the vaccine for me to go to the groomer he gets a nice relaxing bath and gets vaccinated and doesn't he? it's done over and done in a jiffy and he doesn't, he doesn't feel like he's that relaxed so uh, so that's that's uh, what's getting done tomorrow. So I'm sorry for digressing and blaring it in a 13 minute video. Uh, actually, as I say, I thought it was a living proof box that came and it wasn't. So that, that's due to come. My British Beauty box is due. Pink parcels due. I did get my refund for that eventually. I had no refund. In my, in a, an email said, just check your bank. I knew it was in my bank account. So I phoned the bank. They said, no, no, it's definitely no a refund. They emailed them again. So I got the email in today, so I will email them to let them know I got the refund uh, because, because they charge two subscriptions. So pink parcels to come, my uh, cruelty free box, my look incredible deluxe and standard and my British beauty box. Uh, I think that's it's to come. And, um, so that's to come in my love and proof one. I wasn't going to get but I did get it. I know that's still online at the moment. Uh, anyway, stop blaring and... I'm actually really chuffed to bits, we're not 40, we're 46 subscribers today, only 4 to go to 50. Sorry for keeping me, but I know people say, oh, wait till after 50 before you give your giveaway, because people, some side, some might just subscribe to go into the giveaway and then your numbers drop. Well, maybe I trust people too much, but uh, I'll be, as soon as I hit the 50, 51 subscribers, 52 subscribers, I'll be announcing the giveaway, doing, doing it on the air, no, the hat, the, all the names in the, the hat kind of thing. Because um, maybe people are shallow, but I take people the way they are, and uh, I just appreciate every single one of you subscribing to my channel and tuning in and listening to me waffling at times and digressing in nearly 15 minutes. My wee story about spades I'm having today, so uh, I'll be quiet. Say bye bye, everybody, and I'll catch up with my next box. Bye bye.